you're not done. The old version of you is done. The old timeline is done. But you're experiencing a rebirth right now. You have to have balance within your life. Light cannot exist without dark. Dark cannot exist without light. In order to have the rising, you have to have the nightfall. You have to have the darkness to get to one place from another. And a lot of beautiful things are born out of darkness, out of concealed um, growth and healing and recovery. And now since you again have let, stepped into transformation and doing the necessary work um, for you to have this new phase, everything is divinely aligned to work out for you. So, yeah, like I said, you might feel like it's you that's done, but no, just that old version of you is done. You're just getting started. <laughs> just gets getting started for you, baby. Um, You ain't a bit more done than the man on the moon. Just that old timeline is done and over. That's all. Hi, my name is Raji. I'm an Evolved Hustler, and I'm here with your collective reading for today. It is Monday. The moon is waxing crescent in Leo, and we are putting back on our crowns because Leo rules the crown chakra and focusing our thoughts and our our energy towards healing and um, really working towards our goals that we want to see come to fruition for this new 28-day cycle that we're in with this new moon energy guiding us. So now what you're doing is you're moving to action um, to create this this new life for yourself. Again, the old you is done, not the, the new you is just getting started. Before I get started, let me say this. Don't forget to follow, like, share, and subscribe as this message resonates. I appreciate all my new subscribers and shout out to the OGs for continuing to support me. And yeah, if you guys need to book a private reading, don't hesitate to click the link in my bio and it'll lead you to the links that you need to support and or book an appointment with me. Okay, but let's just get right into the reading. So previously, you may have stumbled. You had a couple of stumbling blocks. You had a couple of towers. But with this five of sticks, it's really telling me that now you need to be more focused on having faith that you can shift through these valleys and reach your mountains. You know, you can win. And maybe that you've had this sort of burst of energy, this confidence from this um this Leo moon that, hey, I can do this shit. I can... I can I can excel through adversity with this 10 of wands in the upright. You may have had some burdens um in your foundation um in your home life with the four of wands here and it caused you to experience uh, a lot of towers, a lot of endings, but don't so even due to these burdens and these towers, like you had quite a few towers that happened within your stability. You had a lot of endings there. And now you are being granted a new start. You're realizing that there is hope. There is a possibility of new things. Spirit wants you to stop feeling like you have to be overly depending on people with the Empress in reverse. And you have to be like worried about who you're going to rely on to get the particular help that you need. Maybe you've possibly grown from that particular energy so you like hmm i got this i'm independent i can do this you know i like i said the other day in the reading you can be your own hero you realize that yeah your will of fortune is in the upright for this particular time and that's because you've completed a lot of your karmic cycles again here you are doing the work with and making the necessary sacrifices spirit does not want you to waste your energy making foolish moves in this next timeline don't do that continue to consult spirit about everything you do continue to do the right things a Taurus could be involved you definitely are transforming and adapting to the energy around you and that is a good thing essentially you know you you are you're you're shifting as it goes with the three of knives here this is indicating that you are definitely healing and you are moving forward yeah and you're doing so strongly and with strength a Leo could be involved at this time with the strength card yeah, after some sort of loss within your foundation or you maybe didn't get something planned out the way you thought, you are moving forward quickly here with the Knight of Wands and passionately because, again, you are wanting your hopes, your dreams, and your desires to be fulfilled. Like, nothing is stopping that for you. You've decided. You've decided that this life that you want is going to work out. There is no plan B. It is the plan A. That is the only plan for you right now. Yeah, your intentions are not to sit still and wait for things to come to you you intend to move forward um but something 
is not over in your energy. Um, something is still going. Spirit does not want you to forget about some sort of collaboration here or someone in your energy doesn't want you to forget about working with them or, you know, be mindful of who you work with. In the near future, you may have be realizing that, yeah, so again, something isn't over. There is some good news coming in here uh, because you listen to the signs and synchronicities around you with the daughter of Nas. Things are being balanced out for you and you are receiving some sort of rebirth, some sort of transformation, Scorpio energy heavy um, in your life right now. You refused an offer here. You refused some sort of offer with the Four of Cups uh, because it re-realized it left you in this queen of cups in the reverse energy you didn't particularly like that you were not able to heal you weren't able to get your wishes fulfilled and it looks as though this could have been in regards to a king of wands in the upright kind of fire sign so yeah this king of wands you realize this this person uh here had you in the will of fortune in reverse you weren't able to get your things done and you see that now with the two of swords here you see that with the two of swords in reverse and this person had you in the will of fortune so you made a decision not to continue to go towards this energy maybe they kept you in an indecisive place but now you're really thinking about the fact that this cycle has ended you're in deep you thought deeply about the energy of this king of wands and decided no this cycle needs to be over something was very sacred to you here and it looks as though you were it was for you to over a challenge to overcome yeah you were this was a very deep particular situation and it was a lot of stuff that you didn't see um you didn't realize that this father and Nas was manipulating you and being very like controlling yeah and he was the one causing this imbalance within your life you know by not doing what he should do so again slowing down your progress to up um two of sticks in the reverse this partnership was slowing down your progress at the end of the day and stopping you from having going towards this ten of baskets energy so maybe that's something that you realize yeah you were definitely wasting your energy on this person they could have even like i said being somebody that was manipulating the situation you didn't see that they were bad yeah spirit is saying don't waste your energy continue to go after this this particular situation focus on your plans and your goals at this time yeah, because at the end of the day, you are transforming and don't sit up and think that, oh, yeah, things are not going to get good for me. Don't stay in this devil energy within this attachment. Yeah, you know, this attachment led you to this mother of coins energy in the reverse where you weren't really taking care of your priorities and yourself. You were overextending yourself. And at the end of the day you didn't really listen to spirit or follow your intuition so a lot of that needs to transform and change and you have decided again to release yourself from this stuck hangman energy so that's good even though you notice that it happened you just realize it and you're like healing and making the necessary changes um taurus and pisces can be significant here yeah something has come out about this particular situation with the pot card in reverse the moon card cancer energy yeah there was some reckless moves made somebody was possibly very reckless in this connection son of Nas in the reverse you know and it could have been this father of sticks here and this father energy somebody was trying to control things so they was moving funny mm -hmm. so there was some sort of decision that was made here at the end of the day um and this there was a lot of secrets and things that came out too like a lot of things like people really just were staying stuck and really you know you got hurt as a result of trusting this particular energy, you were definitely hurt. Yeah, someone was really working hard to obtain some sort of goal. So, yeah, you realize that um, someone was working hard to throw you off your square. They kept you in a state of chaos, you know, and a lot of this was exposed to you about this father of sticks. So you had to defend yourself against this person a lot. Scorpio energy here, heavy. And you realize that there was a lack of wisdom within the love situation. You, you weren't wise enough to see at that particular point that what you were getting given wasn't love. So now you're experiencing some sort of rebirth in your life because now you see things for what it is yeah you are now moving within this ten of pentacles 101 on the timestamp, ten of coins energy you are now moving in that you know maybe at first you weren't as confident or assured that you were going to be able to walk away from a particular situation or maybe you weren't confident because you 
you know, you weren't able to move forward. Um, but you are going to be getting some assistance. There is some sort of light at the end of the tunnel for you at the end of the day. Uh, there is a queen of wands in the reverse in your energy who at this particular point, um, you're no longer also like going towards that person with any love, care. Um, yeah, you not, you don't, you don't, care about that particular situation anymore because that situation was also imbalanced that situation was also not stable you are moving towards some sort of victory though at the end of the day you are you're moving towards a victory right now you've released these two energies mm -hmm. it's two very specific energies that you have released and now you're moving forward confidently yeah these people oh shit these people had not changed they had not transformed they were still operating in their lower you know frequency and they were causing you to kind of lack the strength that you needed to heal you couldn't heal because you were dealing with these people they, they took your confidence away this could be family family could very well be involved or someone you had a family with spirit says don't believe something no yeah don't believe them don't let them take your joy these people were trying to con you when they were communicating with you and at the end of the day that was revealed to you as well yeah so it was revealed to you that these people were definitely wearing a mask again this could be family so this is another portion yeah they were kind of go after something here they were going after your courage this is leo very leo been in the chat for about two days with the bullshit but yeah um yeah you can't trust this particular person you can't trust that leo they're going to continue to play in your face and um you know stop you from trying to follow your instincts uh but you are going to have some sort of victory yeah because this person who's trying to trick you they're no that's no longer a secret it's no longer a secret that this they always giving bad deals at the end of the day so your energy needs to um you need to get more patient uh because you know maybe you've lacked some sort of patience right here because